Oh no. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. What does this say? Let me look at this. Hold on. What does this say? Road closed by order of the sheriff? Well, I can't. I gotta turn around. I gotta turn around now. Hello? I saw that the road's closed, but can I find a spot to turn around? Why is the road closed? Just out of curiosity. Uh, for the horse fire. Oh. The whole area's closed. So, so up by Crown King would probably be closed too then? What? Around Crown King would probably be closed from around. Oh, that whole area, there's a, a huge fire in there. Oh, really? Um, I mean, it's almost out. They're, they've got a good hand on it and they're going to start lifting some of the closures. But right now you can't get anywhere near. That's part of us being here to make sure you don't get anywhere near Crown King. Oh, okay. Thank you. Anyways, there you have it. Got uh, got dickered. You saw me got dickered. Well, all right. So let's uh, let's change course. Hopefully, the all right, guys. Well, um, we have uh, commenced Plan B, and we're almost there. We're less than a mile away from uh, from a turn. Uh, it would be nice if people would stay on their side of the road. But uh, yeah, we're heading towards Jerome. So we are here at the turn. And we are going to go ahead and turn in. Now, I have never stayed at the campground here. Reservations only, camp full. Okay, well that takes care of that. That makes up my mind for me. So we will head towards this area out here. This is the dispersed camping area. And there may likely be more people here than there were the last go round. And this is kind of what I was afraid of. Kind of afraid that there was going to be a lot more people out here, and that appears to have happened. So, we're going to have to go, go in deeper. Hope for a better, better camp neighbors this time don't want to end up with a with a party raging you know next to my camp like I had last time so I ended up packing up all my stuff and in, in the middle of the night and uh, leaving you know it's probably one or two o'clock in the morning I just packed up you know, got up, packed up all my stuff, and drove home at like 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen to me again. It's uh, it's really a crying shame. And uh, all the times I've been out camping and stuff, um, I, uh, I've only had maybe a handful of bad experiences, you know, of various different things. Um, either you know, weather related or, um, you know, bad camp neighbors kind of situation. And, and, uh, truth be told, when I was younger, I was probably one of those, uh, you know, bad camp neighbors myself. So, so there's that. So maybe I getting paid back or something, you know? All right. I'm going to go through here. And this is where the road gets a little rough, so, yeah. Okay.
Forest Service guy. Yep. I sure will. Yeah, I'm not gonna have no fire myself, so. <laughs> okay, if I see it, I definitely call it in. Not a problem. This is just a little denty more, little denty more stew here. And uh, starting to get a little cold, like I was saying before, you've been following along on this journey, is uh, I am not prepared for this amount of cold. Yeah, this is just a little, uh, little denty, little denty more here. Put a little, put a little peeper. Get a little peeper in there. Most of it's blowing away. The wind's blowing pretty good. Yeah, I'm expecting it's not going to be a real comfortable night tonight. That's my guess. That ought to do it. Right there. You guys can visit with me while I eat my dinner. But, uh, ooh, yeah. Well, looking like a pretty full moon. Is there any stars out? Nah, don't look like there's many stars out. I think I'm gonna get my bed set up. Get my bed set up, that ought to do. That ought to be a good plan. Let's go ahead and do that, huh? Pretty well got the got the place all fixed up here. Uh, probably not a wide enough shot, but anyway, that's what it looks like right there. Probably need that 360 camera to show everything in here. But all right, now it's time to uh, get a movie going. All right, testing, testing. All right, I just woke up. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, but I went to bed around 6.30 or something like that, so sounds about right. But look at what happened. I woke up, and I'm not, I'm not even on my... I'm not even on my, mat, mat, my mattress, man. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not even on my mattress. It's crazy. What in the world happened, man? I'm like crossways in the tent man good thing this tent's this big huh <laughs> all over the place it was a little uh was a little cold last night i ain't gonna lie about that i was a little cold well i uh got back in the sleeping bag and uh looked and it's uh it's about 39 degrees, 40 degrees, 39 degrees, and it feels colder than that, but uh, that's what it says. It's probably because um, I just left, you know, 100 degree temperatures, and this is the first, you know, <clears throat> experience with uh, with cold that I've had, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a lot colder than... Um, then that temperature would would say, but as long as I stay in a sleeping bag, I'm uh, I'm fine. Seems to me like I was definitely colder um, when I first went to bed, and then I warmed up, and <clears throat> then I was fine. I slept like a log. So I mean, nice and quiet last night. Didn't have any parties or anything going on like the last time and and uh yeah great night and uh, i think i'm just gonna hang out 
and uh, kind of wait for the sun to start to rise and we'll get up. Yeah, I was uh, noticing that we got kind of a mostly a full moon. I, I don't know what that's called, but it's not like, it's like three quarters moon or something like that. So it's real, it's pretty bright out there right now. I mean, I could probably see my way around without a flashlight. Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, I was going to do one of those star laps uh, videos, but can't see any stars in the sky right now, or, not, or really not very many anyway. So that's kind of out. And the light on my camera died. I've got a, one of those uh, lumen cube style lights. Of course, it's not a lumen cube. I bet if it was a lumen cube, it probably wouldn't have died. But yeah, batteries, uh, batteries take a hit when it's this cold. So any hoot, well, I'll let you guys get back to what you're doing and I'm going to just kind of chill out, relax, bleed off all the weak stress and just kind of, just kind of hang out and, uh, We'll catch you in a little while when I get up to make some break fast. That's what it's going to be. We're going to break fast for sure. Alrighty then.